Okay, so that is a camera lucida. Now, camera luciders are amazing things, actually. What it's made out of is a prism. And we're going to go show you where to get these, okay? But if you look down a camera lucida, what you see is actually out that way. Actually, you see two things. You see the scene out that way, and you see the paper and the pencil on the desk in front of you. And what it allows you to do is look at the scene and <laughs> draw the scene really accurately. They're stunning things. If you actually bother to make this, it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> it really is, because you're going to be able to see both things at once and draw it. Now, okay, the question, how did we make this? And how do you go about making one yourself? Well, this is made from a broken LCD projector. Every now and then you come across one of these things. It's an LCD projector and they're horrendously expensive. If they go wrong, even if a lamp breaks, it's really expensive to replace them. And so you find people don't, you'll find them in the bin. Unfortunately, when you take them apart, there's actually not that much you can do with them to repair them. But there is one really beautiful bit in here and that's this bit, the optics. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this apart, get those optics out. Now the way to get anything apart, including this thing, is if you see a screw, unscrew it. Give it a pull. If it's tight and you can't see a screw, encourage it with a hammer and you'll get it to pieces. So there's a case off, couple of screws. Here's the focusing section here. Under here is a light guide. That's the control board. There's the power, it's a bit of shielding and we've got some cooling there. So let's get into that. To get into that, there's a whole lot of screws. Undo them. So here's the LCD drivers right there. LC, uh, RGB drivers, got it unscrewed. Unclip the wires and pull that thing out. And that's the control board. And here now we can see the actual optics and light guide. Lamp sits here. Light gets guided up there, split into three ways, comes here and here to give you colours, gets focused Power supply here. out. Obviously a nice little opportunity there to collect some electronics by taking them off that board. Here's a high voltage supply that powered the lamp. Again, lots of scavenging in there and we're down to the optics. Screws undone, lift them out, get rid of the case. Okay, this thing is in sections. There's the housing that ha had the lamp in it. So that's the light generation. This is focusing and splitting to bring it around there. There's the LCDs and that's the actual projector. That's held on by a few clips once you take the screws out. There they are. And we can get that open. And have a better look inside there. Now what we'll see in here is arrangement of lenses and mirrors. And we want those and you get those out just by lifting them out. Aren't they beautiful? We've removed all the optical quality stuff, got some nice lenses, some front facing mirrors, some very nice filters. And these are particularly interesting, we'll come back to those and we're left with the actual lens itself. And here are the three LCD display screens just there and they're around this housing. In this housing is a prism, so let's get that to pieces. So when you take the LCD screens off, which you can do too by prizing off, you're left with this prism in this housing. Now that prism is seriously cool. Okay, so if I hold that prism up to the lens, what you're seeing is 90 degrees. It's the outside, but you'll see it's in blue. And there we go, in yellow. And back to blue and in red. <laughs> that is seriously awesome. Once you've got that off and the prism out, stick it in a stand like this. Now, what happens is there's a cut line here. The light from the image comes in and is bent up, but because it's semi-transparent, you can also see the light from the bottom. So what you see is the image superimposed on the paper. And I tell you, if you've never used a Lucida, it'll blow your mind because you'll be able to see that image really clearly and the pencil and the paper and draw around it. So if you've never done any work before, you could stick a person here and do a portrait, you can do a landscape and it's gonna be the scale. And they were intensely popular for those reasons. And it really is quite mind blowing stuff actually. Now we've done a Lucida because that's the um, very cool thing from those optics. But there's an awful lot of other things we can do. This for instance, if we look down it the opposite way, down that way where the light comes out, it makes a brilliant magnifier. These things are semi-transparent mirrors. So if you hold them at the same angle as the prism, actually you'll get the same effect as the Lucida. So there's just such a ton of useful optics in a discarded LCD printer, particularly this. Find one, give it a go, I can guarantee it'll blow your mind. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.